Fossil fuel power plants are closing at a record rate in Germany, a rate that we've never seen before. We're talking about literal bankruptcies that are being kept hidden, not talked about by the mainstream media. Why is this? Well, there's too much money involved. Why is this being kept quiet? I mean, literally, fossil fuels are being destroyed in places like Germany. And the truth is, it's about to get a whole lot worse. We're talking about a bloodbath. The amount of solar being installed on rooftops around the world is it's ridiculous guys it's nearly twice as much as last year last year was a record however it's predicted that places like germany will have enough solar power on their roofs to power the entire country within around 25 years time so Germany won't need any coal or nuclear or anything else. All they'll need is solar and then enough batteries to store all the excess solar being created in the middle of the day. However, Germany just set a new renewable power generation record in Q1 and those numbers are gonna to continue to be broken because we just saw global solar generation records get smashed within the last few weeks. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Now, guys, if you live in the States, especially the sunny areas of the States, but especially if you live in Australia as well, if you don't have solar on your roof and you own your own house or you buy, you bought your own house, um, you need to get it. It's just insane not to have it. Guys, here where I'm living right now, I'm, well, I have a not a very good solar system. I'm about to get a new one, which is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be able to charge EVs at 22 kilowatt speed using only solar. But even with my old solar system that I've got in place, I'm only paying about $35 a week uh, for my electricity. And I'm using an infrared sauna. It's getting cold here. So, you know, that's adding to the electricity bills, but you need to get solar. It's just, you pay it off so quickly. Now, this is why a lot of German, a lot of Germans, they are doing it. They're not doing it just because it's like saving the planet. They're doing it because it makes sense. You can save yourself some money. In a record-breaking start to 2024, renewable energy supplied 58.4% of all electricity generated in Germany in the first quarter of the year. That's the highest percentage that Germany has ever seen. Of course, 58.4% of all energy in Germany in the first quarter was renewable, right? So that means pretty likely if you charge your EV, even if you don't have solar panels on your house, pretty likely that energy came from renewable sources. Now, I just saw a report within the last day saying Germany's way behind on their renewable energy goals. That's a load of crap. Like who, the media are just stirring the pot here. They're trying to get us all antagonized. They're trying to make us all think the world is going to hell in a handbasket. It's not. 58.4%, that's, that's for the entire quarter. That's not for a second or a minute. That's the entire quarter. And that number has already been broken in, in the, last couple, the last two months. Now, this is the first quarter, right? We're, we're past the first quarter. We've already seen Germany go over 60%. Germany produced an incredible 121.5 billion kilowatt hours from renewables in the first quarter and about a 12% increase from the previous year. The output from fossil fuel power sources fell by 25.4%. I wanna just point that out again. The output from fossil fuels fell in Germany in the first quarter by 25%. That means the fossil fuels only make up around 41% of Germany's power production. So you know what, Germany, kudos to you guys. You're doing incredibly well. And the, the biggest reason for this is solar power. That said, wind also did make up a significant percentage, generating 5 billion kilowatt hours, up 12% from last year. And it actually accounts for a shocking 38.5% of Germany's electricity, 38.5%. Now, solar grew quite a lot, um, 1.4 billion kilowatt hours. It's 21% of the country's energy. Sorry, I should say it's not 21%, it supplies 7% of Germany's energy, but it grew at a faster rate than wind. It grew by 21%. Now, if solar power works so well in Germany, then yeah, if you live in California, you live in Texas, you live in Florida, you live in anywhere in Australia, uh, you live in most places around the world uh, that are not freezing, you're gonna get incredibly good returns on your solar investment because solar panels have never been cheaper. The efficiency of solar panels has never been 
better. It's amazing. Never before has so much renewable energy generated been produced and fed into the grid in Germany, said Thomas Ginolay, Trade and Invest Director of Energy Building and Environmental Technologies. Almost 60% climate-friendly electricity shows that the expansion of wind and solar capacities continues to bear fruit and that Germany is on the way toward climate neutrality. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this energy created by wind and solar is actually wasted. Those numbers would be higher if it wasn't wasted because some of it has to be curtailed when there's too much energy at certain times of the day specifically when it's, let's say, a moderately or very windy day and you're looking at the middle of the daytime, then solar has to be curtailed and essentially turned off. When Germany and Australia follow California, we have, we turn on all these big batteries that are being installed, these numbers will change rapidly. you will be looking at going overnight from a number like 59% renewables, or, you know, just about 60% renewables. You'll be, you'll be looking at a, a big increase, possibly up to 70%, simply by installing some of these big batteries. The country aims to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by around 65% by 2030 compared to 1990. And it's also cut interim targets to cut emissions by 88% by 2040 and achieve net zero by 2045. Now guys, the good news here is that I think Germany will hit those numbers significantly faster than that. And the reason is because fossil fuels in Germany they will get hammered. The price of wind, solar, and batteries continues to fall, and the price of fossil fuels does not. So disruption is happening everywhere. It's happening to our electricity markets, and it will speed up. That's the good news. It will mean things like coal, gas, power stations. I mean, honestly, if you want to short anything, that's what you short. Tell me how to short it, and let's all short it together. Thanks for watching.